Ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed at Rizal's Travel Journey. Team 4 welcomes you to Rizal's first travel abroad. Jose Rizal is the most traveled Filipino hero in history. The travel and adventure of Jose Rizal are an important facet of his education and sophistication through which he learned the culture and politics of other countries. Jose Rizal's first trip abroad, year 1882-1887, Philippines, May 3, 1882, Rizal left the Philippines for the first time. He boarded Salva Clora using a passport of Jose Mercado which was procured for him by his uncle Antonio Rivera. His first trip abroad was bound for Spain. Singapore May 9, 1882, the first stop over of Rizal on his way to Spain. Rizal boarded the boat with Gina to continue his trip to Spain. Sri Lanka May 18, 1882, it was Rizal's journey to Colombo, Sri Lanka, that was important for him to improve his knowledge of the French language while he on board French ship Dijima. Egypt, June 2, 1882, he arrived at the Swiss Canal en route to Marseilles. Italy, June 11, 1882. He arrived at the city of Naples, Italy for one hour and this was the first European ground he set foot on. France, June 12 to 15, 1882. The boat anchored at Marseilles, France and he boarded at the Noel's Hotel. Spain, June 16, 1882. Rizal arrived at Barcelona, Spain and boarded in the Funda de España, September 2, 1882. He left Barcelona for Madrid to pursue his medical studies in the Universidad Central de Madrid. He also took courses in philosophy and letters and took French, German, and English lessons from private tutors. France, June 15, 1883. He left Madrid for Paris, France to spend his summer vacation and to observe the big French city. Germany, February 3, 1883. Rizal arrived at the town of Heidelberg, Germany. Rizal was so enumerated with the Heidelberg flower that he wrote a beautiful poem about them. To the flower of Heidelberg. April 26, 1886. He left Heidelberg for Wilhelmsfeld, Germany to honor inno innovation extended to him by Reverend Karl Ulmer. June 20 to 25, 1886. He studied the German country life and practiced speaking good German. August 15, 1886. He left Wilhelmsfeld for Leipzig, Germany to offer no title knowledge in Tagalog to prove Ferdinand Blumenthal for the latter's study of the language. Switzerland, June 19, 1887, with Viola, Rizal celebrated his 26th birthday in Geneva, and his attitudes towards revolution was manifested in his letters to Blumetret. June 23, 1887, Rizal and Viola parted, Rizal going to Rome and Viola to Barcelona. July 2, 1887, he arrived in Marcellus to search the bodegas of the Mirawa Jureas for the box of merchandise. Italy, June 27, 1887, he arrived at Rome, Italy and walked around the sea. He visited the Capitolio, the Rocca Taperia, the Palatinum, the Forum Romanum, the Museum Cap Capatilinum and the Church of Santa Maria the Mangiore. The second trip of Rizal, 1885 to 1892, first in Hong Kong. February 8, 1888, Rizal boarded in the house of Pusimana Base after five days trip from Philippines. After in Hong Kong, Rizal traveled in Japan. February 28, 1888, he studied the habits and custom of the Japanese people, their language, eaters, and commerce. After in Japan, Jose Rizal traveled in the United States of America.
April 16, 1888, Rizal arrived at San Francisco, California and he boarded at the Palace Hotel and he went around for observation of the city. After in United States of America, Jose Rizal traveled in England. May 16, 1888, he arrived at Liverpool, England and boarded at the Adelphi Hotel. In London, he published the second edition of Nolimi Tanghiri. February 12, 1890, he arrived at Brussels, Belgium. On September 25, 1891, Valen Ventura sent Rizal in Jane, Belgium, 200 frames for the publication expenses the field. On February 11, 1891, Rizal finished writing his book El Filibusterismo in Biarritz, France. Rizal arrived in the Philippines from Hong Kong, boarded the boat going to Hong That was all Rizal's journey in traveling abroad. We do hope you enjoy and learn something from this trip. Thank you and God bless everyone.